sangat senang sekali karena hari ini adalah salah satu hari favorit kakak. Karena hari ini adalah hari pasca. Di hari pasca kakak boleh makan permen coklat yang enak banget nih kesukaan kakak. Hmm, enak banget. Dan yang paling penting adalah di hari pasca Tuhan membuat mujizat terbesar dengan membuat damai di dunia. Damai adalah menunjukkan kamu lebih peduli terhadap orang lain daripada memenangkan perdebatan. Tuhan membuat damai untuk kita. Kenapa Tuhan membuat damai? Karena hubungan kita dan Tuhan rusak karena dosa. Dulu kita dekat dengan Tuhan dan hidup di sisi yang sama. Karena dosa maka kita menjadi terpisah dari Tuhan. Tapi tenang aja. Karena Tuhan punya rencana untuk kita dapat berdamai dengan dia. Kita akan mengetahuinya di cerita Alkitab hari ini. Tapi sebelum itu, mari kita menyembah dan memuji Tuhan terlebih dahulu ya. Let's praise it. Worship yang luar biasa Di hari Paskah ini kita harus bersuka cita Kita harus merayakan karena Yesus hidup Dan kalian tahu kita diciptakan sesuai dengan gambarannya Ayo kita lihat ayatnya di kejadian 1 ayat 27 Maka Allah menciptakan manusia itu menurut gambarnya Menurut gambar Allah diciptakannya dia Laki-laki dan perempuan diciptakannya mereka Nah ayat itu menunjukkan bahwa kita diciptakan menurut gambaran Tuhan Sehingga apa yang kita lakukan seharusnya sama dengan apa yang dia lakukan Salah satunya Tuhan sangat mengasihi kita semua 
Dan kita juga bisa mengasihi Tuhan dan sesama dengan cara memberi. Hari ini mari kita berikan persembahan kita dengan segenap hati kita dan percaya bahwa Tuhan juga mengasihi orang lewat pemberian kita. Kalian siap untuk memberi? Sebelumnya mari kita berdoa. Tuhan terima kasih karena engkau menciptakan kami menurut gambaranmu. Sebentar kami mau memberi karena kami begitu mengasihi engkau seperti engkau begitu mengasihi kami. Dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami mau memberi dengan sukacita. Terima kasih Tuhan. Amin. Selamat memberi. The Bible, it's 66 books of history. Stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the entire Bible. In the beginning, God created a magnificent paradise and everything in it was good. He created water and land and plants and trees and birds and fish and animals. And then, from the very dust of the earth, God created a man called Adam. He created a woman called Eve. They were the first two people on earth, made in God's image, living peacefully in paradise. Adam and Eve were friends with God. But then they made a terrible choice. God had given Adam and Eve one rule. You must not eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you do, you will certainly die. But the temptation was too great for Adam and Eve. They broke God's rule and what was once a paradise became a broken world. People started telling lies. It was the woman you put here with me. She made me eat it. Brother fought against brother. Ah! No! Selfishness spread through generations. When there had been peace in the garden, now there was pain and sin and death separating people from their creator. But God had a plan to make peace once again with the people he loved so much. Hundreds of years after Adam and Eve broke his rule, God chose a man named Abraham and said, All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. Look up at the sky. Count the stars if you can. That's how many children will be born into your family. So Abraham had a son, Isaac, and Isaac grew up to have two sons of his own, Jacob and Esau. And those two sons had children of their own. Jacob, who God renamed Israel, he himself had 12 sons. So God had given Abraham a huge family just like he promised, but God's people, the Israelites, were still lost and broken, separated from him. They still did not have peace. They didn't have peace when God rescued them from slavery in Egypt, when God led them through the Red Sea to escape their enemies. Okay, great. But what are we supposed to eat out here in the desert? <laughs> Sand? <laughs> The nation of Israel didn't have peace when God gave them a new law. These commandments are hard. We want a king like all the other nations. They didn't even get peace when God gave them a king. The king's laws are no fair. We want a new God like all the other nations. Nope, nothing gave God's people lasting peace. They were still lost and broken and separated from God for thousands of years. But. God had not forgotten the promise he made to Abraham. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. God still had a plan to show the people just how much he cared for them. He knew this broken world would never be able to rescue itself, so God made a way. God sent his son, Jesus, to bring peace on earth once and for all. Jesus grew up and he taught people love and compassion, forgiveness and grace. He healed the sick and befriended the outcasts. He saw what was wrong and made it right. He loved the world and its people so deeply he gave his life on a cross to pay for the sins of the whole world. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. 
In Colossians, the Apostle Paul tells us God made peace through Christ's blood, through his death on the cross. When Jesus chose to give up his life, he paid the cost of every sin ever committed and every sin that had yet to be committed. People no longer had to be separated from God. But in the three dark days immediately following Jesus' death, his followers didn't understand all of that yet. They huddled in the dark, afraid that they too might be arrested or even killed. Who's there? Early on the morning of the third day, Mary Magdalene arrived at the home where the disciples were staying. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. We don't know where they have put him. The disciples stared at each other in shock. Then, Peter and John lunged for the door. They raced each other all the way back to the tomb where Jesus had been placed. The tomb really is empty. There are the linen cloths they wrapped him in. Peter and John returned home, still uncertain and confused. And Mary Magdalene, who had followed them, stayed behind in the garden. And as she wept, she noticed a man standing nearby. And at first, she thought he was the gardener. Sir, did you carry Jesus away? Tell me where you put him. Mary. The instant the man spoke, Mary Magdalene knew immediately who he was. It was Jesus, alive again. Teacher. Overjoyed, Mary returned to the disciples to share the incredible news. I have seen the Lord. It was true. Jesus had come back from the dead. He's more powerful than sin, more powerful than death. And through him, we can have peace with God and work toward peace with others as God intended from the very beginning. Wow, cerita tadi sangat luar biasa ya. Sekalipun kita sudah terpisah karena dosa. Tapi Tuhan selalu punya rencana untuk menghubungkan kita lagi dengan dia. Tuhan mengirimkan anaknya Yesus untuk menebus dosa kita. Dan supaya kita bisa terhubung lagi dengan dia. Tuhan sudah membuat jembatan untuk kita. Seperti ini. Jadi manusia bisa dekat lagi dengan Tuhan. Di pasca ini kita tahu bahwa Yesus bangkit dari kematian. Karena dia adalah Tuhan yang hidup. Dia adalah penyelamat kita. Jadi hal yang perlu diingat hari ini adalah God made peace with us. Tuhan selalu punya rencana untuk membuat damai dengan kita. Ayo kita rayakan kebangkitan Tuhan karena dia hidup. Bye! Halo apa kabar semuanya Hari ini Dedi Ivan dan Chloe Mau melakukan aktivitas yang seru Halo uh, Bulan ini kita lagi belajar tentang apa ya Sebenarnya di si Kids Iya kita belajar tentang Easter Easter itu adalah Perayaan Paskah Which is kita belajar tentang Kematian dan kebangkitan Tuhan Yesus Nah kita sudah punya activity nih Dari si Kids Nanti kalian semua bakal dapat activity ini Dan kalian bisa bermain bersama dengan Papa dan mama di rumah Ayah dan bunda Oke kita buka dulu ya Apa ya isinya ya Wow Ada gambar telur seperti ini Dan juga ada gambar uh, keranjang seperti ini. Nah, nanti nanti Chloe yang bakal mewarnai, jadi yang bikin keranjangnya ya. Atau sebaliknya juga boleh sih ya. Oke, semuanya kita akan lakukan aktivitasnya dulu, baru nanti kita tunjukkan gimana cara bermainnya. Nah, hari ini... Dedi Ivan sama Chloe sudah siap nih untuk bermain ekhan di acara Paskah kita di si Kids. Nah, tadi Chloe sama Dedi udah bikin keranjang seperti ini. Ini nanti buat ngumpulin egg-nya ya, Chloe ya. Terus Chloe sudah coloring and cut the eggs. Wah, banyak banget. Wow, banyak banget. Kita ada 6 eggs-nya. Sebenarnya mungkin ada lebih, tapi yang hari ini Dedi sama Chloe mau mainkan ada Enam telur, oke? Okay? Are you ready for this? Saksikan ya gimana cara Dedi Ivan dan Chloe bermain egg hunts.
Yeay, Chloe berhasil menemukan telur-telurnya. Tadi beneran sudah semuanya, Chloe. Coba dihitung, ada berapa? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam. Yeay, you made it. Nah, buat para orang tua bisa siapin hadiahnya sendiri ya. Buat anak-anak, tapi buat video yang terbaik ketika... Para orang tua dan juga anak-anak melakukan aktivitas akan mendapatkan hadiah dari si kids. Jadi ditunggu ya, jangan lupa untuk mengirimkan videonya via WhatsApp ke admin si kids. Bye-bye!